Palette Force RTX 2070 Super Game Rock Premium Opinion Palette has overclocked their RTX 2070 Super Game Rock Premium by plus 60 MHz rated boost, to 1830 MHz, which results in a solid 5% performance increase over the Founders Edition, making the card almost 20% faster than the plain RTX 2070. The much more expensive RTX 2080 is only 2% faster. With a 8% lead, the Palette RTX 2070 Super Game Rock Premium easily beats AMD's Radeon 7 flagship, 2, and the aging GTX 1080 Ti is 7% behind. AMD recently released the Navi based Radeon RX 5700 XT, the game rock is 16% faster. With those performance numbers, we can easily recommend the card for gaming at 1440p. Palette's large triple slot thermal solution is identical to that of the company's RTX 2080 Super Jet Stream, so it brings plenty of cooling power to the table. Using the default BIOS, Temperatures are 5 degrees Celsius better than on the RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition with slightly lower fan noise. While the card's default mode does not include fan stop, using the second BIOS, which is just a switch away due to dual BIOS functionality, lets you enable the highly popular idle fan stop feature, which completely shuts off the fans during idle, desktop work, and light gaming. In that mode, the card also runs substantially quieter with only 30 bay making it almost whisper quiet and one of the lowest noise high-end gaming graphics cards on the market. Unfortunately, the second BIOS runs at reduced clock speeds, matching the Founders Edition, which is a shame as it requires you to compromise either on performance or noise levels. The better solution for users would have been to have the same clocks with just adjusted noise levels. Palette did not increase their board power limit out of the box, which does help keep efficiency high, but at the cost of a little bit of extra performance, which could be gained from a higher power limit. The manual adjustment limit is much increased, though, at up to 300W, which will be useful for overclockers. During manual overclocking, we saw typical clocks for an RTX 2070 Super on both GPU and memory, which yielded a 5% performance gain. Unlike AMD's Radeon RX 5700 XT, the NVIDIA RTX Super lineup comes with support for ray tracing hardware acceleration, while that's not the most important feature to have right now, it looks like game developers are picking up on it, and many upcoming titles have been announced to feature ray tracing, so the future might be bright for RTX. We found Palette's card listed in Europe for 570 euros, which we converted to 540 dollars for this review. With a 40 dollars price increase over the Founders Edition, pricing is not unreasonable even though I would like to see it closer to 30 dollars. Out of the box. The card is 5% faster than the Founders Edition, which would justify a $25 increase if looking at it alone. The bigger cooler and dual BIOS can certainly be worth a few more bucks, but competition is strong, with other vendors pricing their cards closer to the $500 mark. In order to sweeten the deal, NVIDIA includes a two-game bundle with all RTX Super cards consisting of Wolfenstein, Youngblood and Control. Both titles come with support for NVIDIA RTX ray tracing to show off the capabilities of their new technology.